Yes, how are you today? My name is Samuel Ivanda and I'm your transformational coach. Basically today I want to speak about uh, the aspect of salary loans. Salary loans. Now in most cases I usually uh, interact with people that are in the employment world and one of the things that they continue to ask me, do I need a salary loan? Now one of the things that I've realized especially uh, in, in my country, Uganda, is that continuously banks are outside there looking out for employees who are working in stable companies who have good jobs to give money uh, one of the things that i've come to, uh, to to realize as well is that there are several people that have taken money when they actually don't need the money just because somebody says i have some money that i can give you doesn't mean that you should actually take the money before you take any amount of money you have to first evaluate and see do i really need this money some of you are taking some of these loans to start businesses that you've never done in the past before. Some of you are, are, are getting these loans to go and buy land that you, at the end of the day, live redundant. Some of you are, are getting this money to, to, to finance events like your wedding, your introduction. All these things are, are not bad, but you need to think through because remember what you're doing in here, you're taking debt. And you know, debt accumulates, there's a lot of interest that you're going to pay at the end of the day to the bank. So you need to think about it and you, you need to make sure that it's not something that you regret at the end of the day. Because the loan is not, is, 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 you're just trying to borrow something from your future. So this is amount of money that you would, let's say if it's your salary loan, it means that you're going to be deducted this amount of money, let's say every month. So you need to make sure that this money is actually giving you value and that is why we have the aspects of good loans and bad loans so you need to make sure that any loan that you want to take actually falls under the category of good loans because those are the only loans that will give you a return definitely i'm not saying that taking loans is not is bad taking loans is good but it's only good when you've prepared your mind you've also prepared what exactly you're going to use that loan for because you don't just want to take something and at the end of the day figure out what can I use this for. For example, I had a friend who got over 60 million shillings from, from the bank and they now started wondering what can I really do with this money. And they ended up investing this into a totally uh, uh, new project that they had never done before. And I want to tell you that they, they regretted because at the end of the day, it really didn't work out and they had to, to find ways of how to uh, sell some, 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 some of the equipments and things just didn't uh, work out for them because they were not prepared. They just got excitement because this bank was out there to give you this money so you feel excited. So before you take that loan, prepare your mind, prepare yourself, think through what you, why do you need this money exactly and make sure you borrow money that is within the amounts that you need for example if you want to uh, to buy money uh, to, to buy land let's say uh, make sure that you get money that can actually afford you get uh, a good piece of land because you don't want to get uh, again a loan from the bank and again go and get a loan from another person to top up so you can be able to achieve uh, your certain goal some of you get money to go and build your houses and at the end of the day, you don't do the right planning and you can only uh, maybe build up to a certain level. And again, you have to wait for another time for you to take the loan to continue. So you have to plan your mind and you have to make sure that you don't just borrow to, uh, to start something that is totally new. So you don't need the loan to start a new business. You should start your business and then borrow money later on. So I just wanted to encourage you because many of you want to start businesses using loans, which is not really good right now start a business and then borrow a loan so that that loan can just boost your business so i hope this is of value to you and i hope you get a message that you don't need a loan to start a business and before you take that loan uh, especially for uh, my friends that are still in employment like me make sure that you've evaluated all the options and make sure this is something that is uh oh, will be of value to you and you will not be able to regret at the end of the day so thank you so much and 